The question is a bank has built a software to identify potential defaulters of loans a study of 10000 loans of exactly rupees 1 lakh each given last year was conducted using this software it was found that the software correctly identified 80% of those who eventually defaulted on their dues so it is correctly identified 80% of the people who are defaulters or not paying the loans properly However, the software also incorrectly identified 10% of the regular payers of the loans as defaulters. But it is also identifying 10% of those who are not the defaulters. So this is an incorrect identification by the software. Last year, 30% of the borrowers of the bank eventually defaulted on their due payments of loans. So 30% borrowers, they failed to uh, make the payments. They were defaulters. The bank expects the same level of defaults among loan applicants this year as well. So this year also bank is expecting 30% defaulters. It is given that the income on each non-defaulted loan is 30% of the loan amount. This year the bank intends to give out 69,000 loans of exactly rupees 1 lakh each. In order to minimize the loss of account on defaults, the bank decides to offer loans only to those applicants who are not identified by the software as potential defaulters. Assume that on average only 50% of the loan amount is not retrieved from those who default on the due payments of the loan. So defaulters they are only paying 50% of the loan amount. First question here is if the bank receives income of 30% on the loans repaid, how much total income can the bank expect this year if out of 69,000 loans given 6,000 end in default and 60,000 are paid. Assume that the bank has no other source of income other than loans. So there are 69,000 loans given out of those 6,000 they are paying the loans they are non defaulters 63,000 they are defaulters. What will be the income of the bank? The total income from non defaulters first so 63,000 we have been given in the question bank receives income of 30% on the loans repaid. One loan was of rupees 1 lakh its 30% will be received so 30% of 1 lakh is 30,000 from that some loss of loan is occurring due to defaulters because defaulters are only paying 50% of the loan amount so 1 lakh is a loan amount 50% of it it is 50,000 there are 6,000 defaulters they'll fail to pay this much amount when you calculate this it comes out as 189 minus 30 that means 159 crores option D will be the correct answer let's try to solve the second question now the second question is how many loan proposals does the bank expect to have to consider before finally giving out 69,000 loans. So bank has to receive some applications after that only the bank will give out 69,000 loans. And since the bank is deciding to offer loans only to those applicants who are not identified by the software as potential defaulter. So let us assume that there will be X applicants and out of these X applicants how many 69,000 loans were approved the bank is identifying 30 percent people as defaulters it was given to us over here 30 percent of the borrowers they are defaulters so 30 percent will be defaulters that means 70 percent will be non-defaulters we were given that the software it is correctly identifying 80 percent of those who eventually defaulted on their dues so the software can only identify 80% of the correct defaulters. So 80% of this, first of all, 30% of X, it will be 0.3X, 70% of X, it will be 0.7X. So there are 0.3X total defaulters out of this 80% will be correctly identified by the software. That means 0.24X. But we were also given that the software is also incorrectly identifying 10% of the regular payer of the loans as defaulter. So there are 0.7x people who are regular payers. There are 10% that means 0.07x. These many people they will also be counted into defaulters now. So how many total defaulters do we have? 0.24x plus 0.07x that means 0.31x. So that means out of x applicants these many people 0.31x they are not given loans because they were identified as defaulters so how many people will be given loans x minus 0.31x that means 0.69x people will be given loans so this is equal to how much since the bank is approving 69,000 loans this year so 0.69x this will be equal to the number of people that were approved for loans this year x will be equal to 1 lakh 
so this will be the correct answer option d to the second question i hope this is clear let's solve the third one now the third one is how many defaults do the bank expect this year so we were knowing that there were x applicants 30 percent of them they were defaulters 70 percent were non-defaulters out of these 30 percent that means 0.3 x the bank is correctly identifying 80 percent that means 0.2 4 x people as defaulters 70 percent were non-defaulters that means 0.7 x out of these 10 percent were being identified that means 0.07 x people were being identified as defaulters by the software incorrectly so these were also be counted in the defaulters now the bank knows that these many are definitely the defaulters i will not give loan to these defaulters so that means out of 0.3x defaulters 0.2x so these many will definitely not be given the loans but the remaining 0.6x they will still be given loans but they are defaulters so these many defaults the bank will be facing this year so x was equal to 1 lakh we just calculated it in the previous question so 0.6x that means 6000 so option b will be the correct answer here so even after using the software these many will be the defaults so i hope the process is clear if you still have a doubt please comment